Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at more relationship stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. My wife is having a meltdown over our daughter's personality and I don't know what to do. What should I do? I'm a 34 year old guy and I have a 16 year old stepdaughter. My wife is 31. In high school, my wife was a popular girl stereotype. Pink, blonde, chunky highlights in her brown hair. This was the mid late 2000s. She was on the cheerleading team, had lots of friends and boyfriends. She was basically the living embodiment of the picture perfect girl from those cheesy 2000s high school movies. And then she got pregnant. When she was 15, she had a daughter. She doesn't know who the father is and any potential fathers for the girl up and left away back then. Her daughter is recently 16. I never wanted kids. I found them annoying. But I fell in love with my wife and got married when she was 20 and I was 23. After dating for two years, we hit it off and I married her and decided to suck it up around the kid. I never planned to absolutely love being a dad to her specifically. Kids still annoy me, but my daughter, stepdaughter technically was different. She was quiet, nerdy, even at a young age. I married her mother when she was five and we clicked right away. We went on daddy-daughter dates every weekend. I played dolls with her, let her paint my nails and do makeup on me. I drove her to and from school in my cop car. We even did daddy-daughter duo costumes for Halloween. Over the past two years, she's developed a darker dress style. I don't know what the proper subculture for her outfits are, but according to her, she's dressing like a horror game protagonist and a monster high character. Purple is her main color she incorporates into the specific aesthetic blend as she calls it. I don't get it, but maybe that's because I'm a man in my 30s, I don't know. She likes ghosts, tarot cards, vampires, zombies, aliens, creepy Victorian dolls. I don't get it, but I also don't care because if it makes her happy, so what? She's also an introvert and prefers to play games on a computer or read fantasy novels rather than hang out with other teens her age. She has friends, so I'm not too worried about her being completely withdrawn. I'm just glad I don't have to drive her around since she only has a learner's permit currently. My wife hates this. My wife always wanted a girly girl. Pinks and pastels and flowers and all that. She wants our daughter to get a boyfriend, be more social, be a cheerleader like she wants, which in itself is valid, I get it. I'm sure most parents has preferences for what they want their kid to turn out like, and some disappointment when they're straight from that fantasy is valid, some. Why does her mom want her to get a boyfriend at 16? That's a bit sus, right? Like, you went through something, so you want your own kid to go through it too? Like, just let your kid enjoy her own life, right? She can like whatever she likes. Right? Teens change all the time. Just because she likes this now doesn't mean she's gonna like it like 10 years later. Everything changes. Just let her enjoy being her. My wife will constantly take and hide my daughter's darker room decor. She constantly gets pastel dresses for our daughter, tells her to wipe off her dark eye makeup, tries to set her up on dates with jock types from my daughter's school, and convince her to sign up for both school and summer activities like cheerleading or volleyball. The mom's crazy. I could have put up with all of that, I really could have, but a few weeks ago I woke up to my wife finally hitting, oh, finally hitting her breaking point. I woke up in the middle of the night to my wife screaming and having what I can confidently describe as a borderline meltdown. She was crying and saying all she ever wanted was a normal daughter who likes pink and is a cheerleader and has a boyfriend and will give her grandkids. <laughs> what, at this age? At 16? Hello? No, your kids should not be like you because look how you turned out. Crazy. I had to drag her out the hallway after 30 minutes of this. I kept thinking it would stop, but it kept going on and on. My daughter was just staring at this whole thing in the doorway of her room. What caused this meltdown for my wife? My daughter dyed purple over the blonde streaks highlights my wife had forced her to get in her hair, which wasn't even breaking the house rule. As my wife and I have both told her she can do whatever she wants with her hair as long as she doesn't stain too many towels. It's been weeks and my daughter won't talk to her mum. My wife is still up with her antics, but now it's in overdrive. Every day she brings home some type of trendy clothing in pink or pastels and tries to give it to my daughter. My daughter is getting fed up and stays in her room all day and has confessed to me she can't wait for school to start back up in a few weeks so she can get out of the house and be with her friends again. I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. I don't want to side with anyone in this situation. I understand my wife wants a daughter who she can relate and my daughter wants a mom who can understand her. I don't know what I can or should do. I need help. You should side with your daughter. You should side with the one that's right. Because your daughter is still so young, right? She needs to know that what she's doing is not wrong. Because her mom is making her think that what she's doing is wrong. The wife's crazy. Like, why does she want a replica of herself when she didn't even turn out okay? <laughs> like, she's crazy, okay? Why do you want your own kid to turn out like you when you're crazy? I don't get it. Like, if I was this mum, 
right? I would not want my kid to turn out like me. I want her to be happy because this wife does not sound happy at all. And I would teach her to not do the things that I did, right? Honestly, I don't know why she's like this. I don't know. I don't know what the mom's trying to achieve. Creepy. The mom is being abusive right now. Controlling. Like, what the hell is that behavior? Narcissistic behavior, too. Kind of crazy. Like, she wants her kid to do everything that she likes. Hello? Um, your kid's life is not yours. It's theirs. They gotta decide what they want to do with it. Jeez. My husband ignored my calls after an accident. Should I divorce him? Oh. Okay, let's read it first. I'm married to my husband. Let's call him Bob for six years. Everything is fine between us, except this habit of his. He has the habit of not listening to people when he's busy and just lift the call. Say he's busy and cuts the call. Oh, that's messed up. I would be pissed if I was in an accident and I called my partner and then he picks up and he's like, I'm busy and hangs up. <laughs> ah, what if you're dying? He's one of those people, hey? Why are you calling me? Just call the cops if you're dying. This never was serious until two months ago. I was driving in the middle of a jungle, a route which was less taken because of a frequent accident due to animals hitting the vehicles. It was evening. I was returning after caring for my sick sister who was in the hospital. It was getting dark and I had kids at home waiting for me. And I started roaring because even though my husband is working at home, he gets busy with work and doesn't care about anything else. I was driving under the speed limit but was in a hurry and it was kind of raining. Suddenly an antelope ran across the road and jumped on my car, making me swerve off the road and hitting a tree. I hit my head pretty hard and my vision became blurry. My right hand was not moving so I grabbed the mobile and pressed the SOS button where my sister and my husband are my emergency contacts. My husband received the alert and ignored it. I tried dialing 911 but I think I fainted. I woke up in the hospital where the doctors told me I damaged my spine. The accelerator went through my leg and had multiple fractures and some stranger basically found me and called them. The hospital staff then told me that they tried contacting my husband and my sister but both were not available. They told me it may take many days to go home and I will need someone to be with me. I spent the night crying feeling hopeless and lonely. My husband appeared the next day late in the morning. He told me he was sorry, was too tired and went to sleep after turning his mobile off. <laughs> I will be livid. Did he turn it off after he got the emergency call? I did not want to see him. My sister got well and came to my hospital with her husband after two days and I went back to her place after a few other days as my spine injury needed someone to help me with my chores. My husband is now upset thinking that I'll be divorcing him and is texting me non-stop. Him thinking of divorce made me consider if it is worth living with him because the thought of dying alone someday just because my husband is not answering his damn phone is scary. Should I consider divorcing him? Girl! Man doesn't even care if you died that night or not. He went to sleep. He wasn't even concerned that you didn't come home. Oh, hell no. Yeah, bye. <laughs> I would, you know, I'll be like, okay. What's the point of having a husband? <laughs> you know, what's the point? I feel like I'm single. Hmm, true, I'm single. And I feel like this isn't even the only reason she knows why she should divorce him. Because who cares about the phone call, right? The fact that she even has to think about her kids when her husband is already home says a lot about him. He doesn't do anything. What, he doesn't care if the kids are starving? So the fact that she has a worry about her kids when her husband is home says so much. I can't believe it, bro. He freaking got an SOS call. <laughs> Turned his phone off so they wouldn't be bothering him so he can go to sleep. Oh, oh hell no. Like, get out, you know, like, get out. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.